Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by for another episode with the Grim Ripper. My name is Jason, and tonight is Monday Madness. If you like tonight's video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you are not a subscriber, I would encourage you to subscribe publicly to the channel and comment on the videos. If you are publicly subscribed and comment on the videos, then you are eligible for our Friday giveaways, and we give, do a giveaway every Friday on this channel. All right, tonight for Monday Madness, we do have a sponsor, and that sponsor is Debbie out of Illinois. I know she is a White Sox fan, so we're hoping to pull a few White Sox players out of the packs that she sponsored tonight. Also, the 1988 Fleer has several cards that can be worth a little bit of money in PSA 10 condition. Uh, leading the pack is Bo Jackson. He's worth about $30 to $40 in PSA 10 condition. Edgar Martinez's rookie card, he's a Hall of Famer. His rookie card is worth about $35. And then we have several cards that are worth $25 in uh, 10 condition. Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith. We have Don Mattingly. Tom Glavin's rookie card from this set. And Mark Grace has a rookie card also in this set. So we'll be looking specifically for those players and any types of inserts and White Sox players. So let's get started on this 1988 Fleer. She has sponsored four rack packs. So that's a total of a dozen packs of cards. So let's go ahead and... Get to work. <clears throat> pack number one. Now, because these are classic vintage wax packs, we do have the bottom pack always gets wax there and pretty much makes it worthless. So Lance Parrish will take the hit. And there's the stickers. And each one of these rack packs does have a headliner card. They were exclusive two rack packs. So we've got Dwight Gooden right here. Dave Vale. Eddie Milner. There's Kirk Gibson. Carmelo Martinez. Hall, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Tim Belcher. There's Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson. And who else do we have? Kurt Manwaring and John Burkett rookie card. Cecil Espy, Gene Walter, and Jack Howell. That's a funny picture of Jack Howell. His batting glove looks like he's carrying a wad of cash in his hand right there. And the look on his face is, come and catch me, like he just robbed a bank or something. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Second pack in this first rack pack. We've got Pete, Inca, Pete Incavilia on the bottom. He's going to take the wax stain there. There's Ellis Burks. Rookie prospects, Adam Peterson and Randy Velarde. Dave Henderson, Padreek, Bob Welch. Here's a couple of Orioles, Cal Ripken and Billy Ripken, brothers. There was a period of time where the two brothers and the dad were all in major leagues at the same time. And I actually think this set or another one has all three of them on a card together. Not much in that pack. Pack number three. This was one of my favorite sets when I was collecting cards back in 1988. I think in my boxes in my storage area, I have all kinds of singles from the 88 Fleer set. Barry Bonds, that's a good one right there. I don't know that I really looked up Barry Bonds, but he is a, a star. People like Barry Bonds quite a bit. Hmm, I can't remember if we saw any White Sox players. I had forgotten to really look for White Sox players through these other packs. I'm going to flip through them real quick, see if I somehow missed 
some Sox players. Bring back some memories for Debbie. If we pull up some of the... There's a White Sox player right there. Gary Reedus. And these were some White Sox... One White Sox prospect there. I think because they have that kind of that cursive C on the on the hat. Uh, it didn't really click with me that that was a White Sox player. And they do have that older White Sox logo on these as well, which for some reason doesn't stand out to me, that old logo. Okay, just missed a couple of White Sox. Set those there. Got Kent Herbeck. There's a checklist. Ernie Witt and Ross Jones. Pena and Dwight Evans, McClure and Stewart, one of my Cubs, crosstown rivals to the Sox. There's Yvonne Calderon, that's a Chicago White Sox, set him in this Sox pile. Jeff Hamilton, a couple of slugging sophomores, Wally Joyner and Corey Snyder, and Gerald Perry. On to another... Fresh Rack Pack. Let's see who our headliner is in this first pack of cards. Start off with a Jack Morris as the headliner. There's Don Mattingly. That's one of the cards we've been looking for. In PSA 10 condition, he can command $20 to $25. John Cangalosi, Atherton, Jelts, Swindle, there's Manny Lee, Bob Nepper, there's a White Sox, Steve Lyons, third baseman for the Sox in 1988, Rick Sutcliffe, crosstown rival, Bill Schrader, Marty Clary, Ken Phelps, and Harry Spillman. All right, pack number five. Let's see if we can get a Bo Jackson going here or an Edgar Martinez. It'd be nice to pull some of the rookies for Debbie tonight. There's the Astrodome. Dave Dravecki and Bill Buckner. Got Hawkins. Gedman. Sid Fernandez and Rick Roden. Keith Hernandez and Dale Murphy, National League All-Stars that year. Smalley and Hughes. Julio Franco, followed by Rob Murphy. American League slugging shortstops. Fernandez, Ripken, and Trammell. Got two Hall of Famers on that card. Juan Augusto, John Marzano, and there's Frank DePino. So far, we've been drawing a blank on our list of cards that we're specifically looking for. Curious, um, I should check that Barry Bonds to see what his goes for in this set. It seems strange that a that his card didn't make it on the my list there. He's always a favorite for folks. Mel Mel Hall in this one, Tracy Jones, Noakes, and Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett, Jim Deshays. He's the uh, Chicago Cubs color man right now. If you watch Cubs games, you'll hear Jim Shays on there. There's Bill Lindsay, White Sox, followed by crosstown rival Lee Smith. B.J. Suroff and Oberkfell, Bankhead and Brindley, Jack Morris, Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer. I think Jack Morris, Black. I think Morris is also Hall of Famer. John Habon, Fernando Valenzuela, and Alfredo Griffin. All 
I didn't miss any other Chicago White Sox there. Rack pack number three. Maybe we can pull a Chicago Cubs or Chicago White Sox headliner out of one of these. That'd be cool. There's a Daryl Strawberry headliner. Luis Polonia, Neil Heaton. There's Hall of Famer George Brett. Terry McGriff and Bobby Witt. John Mitchell, Doug DeCensis, Milt Thompson, Rob Ducey, and Chuck Krim, Henry Cotto and Fisher, Gary Gaetti, and some prospects, Fermin and Reed. Nothing too fancy out of that particular pack. You're going to have a nice uh, start on putting this set together with these packs. There, Debbie. I think uh, you may have some other 1988 Fleer from me as well. That you, you either sponsored or you won in a giveaway or something. This is a nice set to put together. I've always enjoyed the look of it. I like the simple red, white, and blue. There's Jim Wynn, Chicago White Sox. Guerrero and Cecil Cooper, Andres Thomas and Boddicker, there's a Cruz and a Harold Reynolds, still wanting to pull some of these cards on our list, Don Mattingly is the only one so far from our list, I don't have any of the rookies yet. Pack number uh, nine, I think. Start out with a Greg Minton, the Tukalev. There's Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith, Jose Okendo, and Royster. There's Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. It's a nice one. And a checklist. Garth York. Jack Clark. Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. Nice one there. Dennis Martinez, Rich Yet, and Ed Lynch. Okay, we're moving into our fourth and final rack pack for the evening. I thank everyone for stopping by tonight. Remember, get signed up for Saturday Skirmish. Coming up in less than a week now, if we have we have one player so far, if we can get five more players, we'll have a pretty good championship prize for this weekend. The more players we get, the bigger the prizes, so keep that in mind, and really the more fun it is too, the more players we have, so... Charlie, there's Bill Ripken, Bill Doran, and Bill Willick, Willickson. Now for that uh, Saturday Skirmish, there will be a link in the description of this video where you can click to uh, go straight to the website at thegrimrippersden.com and get signed up for that Saturday Skirmish or any other thing you would like to sponsor on the channel. Second to last pack now. Let's go, Deb. Let's find you some of those rookies. Edgar Martinez or Tom Glavin or Mark Grace. Got to find one of those guys eventually, you would think. Dale Svayam. Dale Murphy. Dave Hengel. Chris Spire. Chet Lemon. Got a Whitson and a Gerhardt, a Bryant and a Phillips, Brooks and Seitzer, Guzman, Mookie Wilson and Wally Joyner. I wasn't really watching for the Sox players in that one. Let me see if I can 
go on back and check for sure that I didn't miss any. Hmm, I guess I probably didn't. Mm, nope. Good in that pack. Okay. We're on our last pack for the evening. Last pack on tonight's Monday Madness. Okay, maybe some last pack magic here. Let's see what we can do. Pull the twins. Start off with a Glenn Davis, Mike Morgan. There's a Chris Gwynn and a Peter Smith prospects card. Alexander and Jones. Got Harris. Jeff Leonard. Storm Davis. Shane Mack. Kevin Romine. Backman. Tolleson. Sisk. Schatzeter. And Greg Gross. Looks like Barry Bonds and Don Mattingly are going to be the best cards from this pack right now. I'm kind of interested to see where that Barry Bonds falls in value from this particular year, 1988. It's pretty early in his career. Let's take a look real quick, see what he goes for. 1988. Clear. Pull up those baseball cards and see what the latest auctions have shown us for the Barry Bonds. What card number is he? 322. So Barry Bonds. Yeah, hmm. Barry Bonds in a PSA 10. Most recent sale was well only only fifteen dollars, but uh, that's still. Sometimes you can get grading done for ten bucks, and if you're lucky enough to get a PSA 10, that'd be a fifteen dollar card. So the Mattingly, as far as value goes today, the Mattingly is your best card for value, but we did pull a few. A few Sox cards out of there for you, as well as quite a few Hall of Famers. A pretty good take for the evening. I appreciate you sponsoring this tonight, Debbie. And I uh, hope everyone has a great evening. Tomorrow is Time Travel Tuesday. We're continuing our search for Ken Griffey Jr. in the 89 Donruss set. So uh, hopefully we can pull him tomorrow from that set. In the meantime, I hope all of you have a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow.